I thought this was a really interesting play for Wisconsin to open the game with. They must have seen something on film that they really want to take advantage of. Right here you have this outside receiver, number one receiver, he's running a post. Uh, number two receiver, he's running a flat route. And then he's running somewhat of a fade right here into this open void, the whole shot uh, right there. Probably hoping that this outside receiver takes the corner and safety. Thinking he's taking outside backer. Now you've got this guy between the corners, safeties, and his outside backer for a possibly a possible big play. And as we play, you'll see exactly what takes place. Of course, going vertical. He's going to the flats. Looks like he's rolling it, running something uh, in that vicinity uh, right there. And you can see he's getting into a lot of space. Quarterback lets it go. Uh, of course, slows him down so he doesn't throw him into a safety uh, for a big play. And we'll run that back one more time uh, just so you can watch it. <clears throat> right there again, you've got a vertical, probably post. you got it out. Then you've got a guy working to that fade. Quarterback lays it out there into open space, doesn't throw him into a safety uh, for a big completion to, to start the game for Wisconsin. Here's a run play that Wisconsin ran quite a bit in this game, and it's just a pin and pull outside zone. And what they end up doing is they're in trips, and they uh, run a little bit of fly motion right there. He bases, he down blocks, he blocks back, and they're pulling for uh, that play side backer, and they're pulling for that backside backer right there, just basically basing everybody else. And right there you play, you can see the center's pulling for the front side, and the tackle's pulling for the backside linebacker right there. That fly motion trying to hold one of these guys, maybe slow these guys down just a little bit as they run that uh, pin and pull. Right there you got a five technique, keeps him out. You got a one tech technique, he washes him down. Let's that center get around to that backer. Uh, really good angles right there. A good job putting, our, putting their play side shoulder on the backers right there so the running back, John Taylor, can get vertical right there behind it. Now he's got a head of steam running one-on-one -on -one with a safety. And, of course, uh, you know, best running back in the nation. He's going to find a way. He steps through those tackles, and he gets into the end zone right there for uh, early early lead for Wisconsin. Uh, just really, really good run scheme. They ran it quite a bit in this game. Just that pin and pull right there, basing that in. Don't let him squeeze. Uh, same thing right there. You got one tech. Wash him down as far as we can. And they're going to get uh, two kicks right there on the backers. Now they're running in space. Here's another look of Wisconsin running their pin and pull outside zone. And right here they're running it that direction. Uh, so if you look at their, their, who they're probably blocking, they're blocking right there. He's going to block down that one technique. Center's going to pull for that backer. Uh, this guy's going to block back. we got this tackle pulling for that backside backer. And these guys probably you know, staying man on right there, trying to run it that direction. Uh, but we'll play and see exactly what happens. Right there, you got down block. you got a base. Now you have the center pulling. He's pulling for this linebacker right here. He steps up hard, so it ends up being like a kick. Uh, very similar to the buck sweep. Here's the backside tackle falling in for that backside backer. And now they're running again. Getting two good kicks. You can see right there the backside tackle coming around. Putting his right shoulder, play side shoulder on it. So he can kick him. And again, running back getting vertical uh, for a decent gain right there. I thought this was a really cool clip because of the camera angle of this. Directly over the top of the ball. And what Ohio State's running is they're actually running their dash. Uh, quarterback Reed. And right here what they have is they're running inside zone that direction. I'll run it back so you can see exactly what they're end up doing. But they're reading this end right here. This running back's going there for the sweep. If this guy uh, winds out, the quarterback's going to keep it and run inside zone. Uh, of course, trying to get double teams all over the place if at all possible. I think probably double teaming right there up and then basing right there. But uh, he's arcing. I think he even actually arcs for this guy. And you've got this outside receiver coming and cracking right there, leaving this corner for if there is a hand. Uh, but right here, we'll play real quick. You can see quarterback's reading right here. And you can see he squeezes a step or two right there. Just right now, you know, just feel knows he's handing that ball off. He's This outside receiver is coming to block this uh, first guy that's probably going to try to force that. Now he knows he's on the edge, one-on-one -on -one with a corner. Uh, if you run this back, you can see exactly where the quarterback would try to run it on this inside zone if this end would have widened. Okay, if that end would have widened right there, you have him right there. He would have ran right there into the end zone, but since he squeezes down, he hands, that, hands the ball off, and he's one-on-one -on -one with the corner right there. Uh, and he just has to make him miss. Find a way to score. Uh, I mean, if you got a running back one-on-one -on -one with a corner and he can't find a way to score uh, from two yards out, then you definitely need to get another running back. And, of course, J.K. Dobbins is able to find a way to get into the end zone right there for a big touchdown uh, in the Big Ten Championship game. Uh, but right here, I thought it was a really cool angle. Uh, and so those of you that have drones and everything, uh, to, to help record, uh, understand what this angle is about. But, man, it's an awesome, uh, awesome play, awesome angle, and great job right here by Ohio State executing. 
Here's a play right here from Ohio State. They run their snag in a lot of different ways. We have a video of them running snag last year. Uh, but this one is a little bit different. What they have over here, they have some kind of smash. Maybe it's a, a fade, a hitch fade, something like that. Uh, but what they end up doing is they, they run uh, this uh, tight end to the corner, and they run that full back. He comes in like he's going to snag, and then he goes vertical. And you have a flat route over there with the running back. Uh, but what a lot of people do, they'll run this quite a bit, especially if you have that snag and these backers are jumping it. Now you can burst that uh, to the middle, especially if you have the safeties that are getting off the hash on those corner routes. Uh, or, you know, you, you run a smash over on this side and get them out as well. Uh, but right here you can see exactly what takes place. He releases, he takes the corner and he takes the uh, safety right there wide. There's a lot of space here in the middle of the field. These guys running whatever they're running over there. And, of course, the quarterback's eyes start that direction as well. Uh, but right here you can see he's coming right here now of course he's open right now because you get a little bit of a blitz but he fakes it like he's coming to the snag and then he goes vertical the only guy that's left in the middle of the field is this linebacker right here uh, now clips cut off so we have to imagine uh, that it has all spectacular one-hand catch which is what they do uh, but right there it's cut off and you can see all the space that he's running to whenever you you fake the snag and then you go vertical and that's what they end up doing right there getting those corners and safeties off the hash now you can stop now that's, if that linebacker jumps it, now we can go vertical into a lot of space. Very similar to uh, that Baylor where they're running, they're running back down the middle of the field uh, and you've got smashes on the outside. If you can get those safeties to widen, stay wide, and you want to want that backer, you, a lot of times you feel good about your matchup. We have this play on here from Ohio State and they're basically running verticals over here and they have a running back swinging and they know that it's man to man and this guy's running a, about a 10 to 12 yard drag. And what's so great about this play is uh, you know it's man-to-man. -man, and you can see this receiver, he starts off really shallow. Uh, he does kind of what we call, what we used to call a stair step. If you're running a drag, whether it's on a boot or whatever, you don't, a lot of times you're not just going to be able to run across and get open, especially if you're against man-to-man. -man. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go vertical for a little bit and then go that way and then break back across so that you, you have some kind of a stair step in your route. A lot of times when you stair step, That'll create space, and you just got to work it quite a bit if you're running a bunch of them. Uh, but teach those guys to stair-step their routes so that you're not just running straight across. Because if you're running straight across in this man-to-man, -man, he's probably just going to be able to trail you if he's a good football player. But if you're coming across, then you go vertical a little bit, and then go back across. That's where you're going to create a lot of space. And we can play this, and you can see exactly. So he's coming shallow. Then right here, he's about to burst vertical a little bit. And then once he gets that guy's angle a little bit different, now he's going to break back across flat. And that's where Justin Fields sees him and puts it on him right there for, for an easy completion. A lot of space. Now, if he would have just ran across, that's not a perfect ball. Now, it's not an awful ball, but it's not a perfect ball. It slows him down a little bit. If he doesn't stair-step that, then he's probably on his back with a chance to make a play on that ball. But since he stair-steps it and creates a little bit more space, uh, it's, a, it's an easier throw and catch right there for a big play. We have this play on here from the Big Ten Championship game where Ohio State's running power. You can see Wisconsin, they've got a little bit of an overload this direction, uh, but it's a perfect look to just run power. And uh, not real sure exactly why Wisconsin lined up like this, but they did it a couple times uh, throughout the night. And Ohio State did a good job just running power right there. Uh, down, down. They're kicking right there with the fullback. Does a good job right there getting his play side shoulder right there, wrapping to the play side. Uh, just one of those things that, that Wisconsin kind of had an alignment issue, and Ohio State was able to take advantage of it, running power.